Hey guys, this is Kevin over at jazzham.com. Jazzham.com is an online store that buys those trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so our customers can easily choose the best watch for themselves at the comfort of their own home. We offer the lowest prices anywhere online, and if you want to know the price of your watch, simply click on the links in the description below. We are greatly appreciate it if you would buy a watch from jazzham.com once in a while. Today we'll be reviewing a IWC Aqua Timer in a chronograph version. This is the model number IW376805. We'll be going over the dial, bezel, case, crown, uh, strap, clasp, and we'll talk about the movement towards the end of the video. So jumping right into the dial, this is sort of a grayish style, a grayish style sunburst dial. As you can see as I tilt it against the light in my light box here, you can see sort of different contrasting of lighter areas and uh, contrasting of darker shadows on various portions of the, of the dial as I tilt it against the light. So besides that, very beautiful gray, uh, very beautiful gray dial, uh, sort of contrasted by sort of a darker navy, uh, darker navy blue dials at the 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock position, while the 9 o'clock position dial is uh, sort of similar in that grayish in the grayish tone, but only in more of a, a matte coloration. Um, all three dials add a nice contrast to the face of the watch, of course, with the hour mark, the index hour markers, and the uh, large hands and minute hand as well. Adds they all work together to add a nice variation to the face of the watch, which looks absolutely fantastic. Specifically, this uh, IWC Aqua Timer is a special edition Aqua Timer. Aqua Timers don't normally come on chronograph versions, I believe, for the. Um, for IWC anyways. So usually when you see a chronograph version on Aqua Timer, it is sort of a special edition. Specifically this one, uh, I'm gonna butcher this guy's name, but uh, this one is sort of, um, was a special edition for Jacques uh, Yves Cousteaux, I believe, which was a French Naval officer, uh, French Naval officer who was an explorer, uh, uh, filmmaker, innovator, scientist, photographer and just studied a whole bunch of sea things and that's why this was this watch was sort of dedicated to him that guy is dead now though he was uh, died in 1997 was born in 1910 so he's lived a full life but this watch is sort of a, a memoir to uh, to that person uh, to that person but besides that it's overall just a uh, your typical chron uh, your typical chronograph watch just with a few you know changes of color here and there to add a nice pop to the face of the dial and give it a little variation and of course the uh, bezel as well is a little bit different uh, a little bit different uh, for the sub dials just to quickly cover it as this is a chronograph watch we have the 30 minute elapsed time at the 12 o'clock 60 the 60 seconds marked in a sort of matte tone of the gray that one is actually your uh, standard uh, uh, your, under, your standard 60 seconds, meaning that the central seconds hand here is actually controlled by the chrono pushers for the chronograph feature of the 2 o'clock two o'clock and 4 o'clock position. And the, 12, and the 6 o'clock position subdial is a 12 hour elapsed time, which uh, only these two, the ones in the navy, sort of navy blue, are uh, affected by the chronograph function. At the 3 o'clock position here, where they have the, the IWC lo, uh, name right above the uh, day and date, as you can see, I have it currently set to Wednesday the 27th, and then we have a we have the signature of I believe of that uh, Jacques of uh, Jacques Cousteau's person uh, uh, signed there at the four o'clock position. For the luminosity, the luminosity of the watch, you're looking at the all the hour all the hour markers and the thick hour hand and minute hand. Actually, can I show you how this looks at night. So I'm going to go ahead and shut off my light here so you can get a better view. And actually very cool, very very cool variation here. As you can see, you have the nice lighting, the nice blue lighting from the, um, it's not, it's to like 100% blue is more of like a tealish coloration on the dial itself. Um, so we have the nice double dot at the 12 o'clock position, helping you landmark and very easily glance at the watch to tell the time. Shortened ones at the 3, 6, uh, three, six and 9 o'clock position for obvious reasons of the day taking space, the sub dial is taking space. But also the conjunction of the bezel as we move on, you can see the nice luminosity on the uh, Arabic numerals on the bezel as well with, with the contrasting of the um, from the 5 to the 15, the, rather the 12 o'clock position to the 15 here uh, being in a nice sort of green coloration and uh, also helping with the land, uh, quick landmarking as you typically wouldn't probably go, uh, go past um, the, 15 hour, the 15 hour mark and even if you did 
Another cool thing is that you can actually see that the hour hand and the minute hand are shifted in a different color as well. The bezel is unidirectional, as you see I've missed it twice now, um, as I've gone too fast, but it is a unidirectional bezel, so it is sort of like a, di uh, basically like a diver's watch where you can only shift the bezel to the left. Um, you cannot switch it to the right as, as the bezel helps track elapsed time and you know, the example I always use is that if you're tracking the elapsed time on your oxygen tank, you obviously don't want to hit the bezel and shift the, you know, shift the elapsed time into the incorrect position and give yourself an incorrect reading. Um, still not sure if that's true nowadays. I would assume there's a better way of tracking your oxygen levels, but I mean, back then that might, might have been the way they would have done it very easily with a watch. But you can see that the, the tonnage, actually, I'm going to re-highlight this one second here. You can see even the difference in tone for the hour and minute hand. So it sort of coincides with the respective positions of being able to track elapsed time with the minute hand and just the hour marker being a, diff a different color. So let me go ahead and switch the light back on so you can see this back to its original form. There we are. So that's that. It's just in the daylight, this bezel is just a nice uh, just a nice bezel to look at in general it's just nice contrasting of colors from the the white uh, white gradient with a nice black gradient Arabic numerals in the uh, in the white as well with the pair the sort of triangular positioning of the 12 being in that dark navy blue matching with those uh, with those sub dials moving on to the case now this case is a stainless steel case from an index finger to my thumb here that's 44 millimeters in diameter sits high on the wrist at a 17 millimeters uh, 17 millimeter height but very beautiful usage of polishing on the sides, sides of the case. You can see the chamfers on the diagonal edges of the case from the lug to the side of the case. The lugs itself are a nice brush finish along with the side of the case. On the other side of the case, nice brush finish as well. Nice usage of the um, that sort of dark, uh, the chronograph dark blue hues matching with the chronograph subdials again once more. And the crown pusher, the now crown pusher is not a crown pusher, it's a screw down crown uh, that unwinds counterclockwise as shown. And I'll do this, do so now. And the standard position is where you can actually wind the watch 15 to 20 winds is all you need to get it started once more from a dead stop. Pulling the crown out to the next position, I actually have to shift the hand out of the way first so you can see it a little bit better. Pushing the crown out to the next position will allow you to adjust the date quickly and easily for the so for the day you go counterclockwise, for the date you go clockwise. So very cool, very easy to use function. All right, let me just shift it into correct position there. All right, in the final position, you'll be able to adjust the hands bi-directionally as shown. You can see hands easily moving. I'm gonna set it back to the 10 and two o'clock position. And notice that the second sub dial, your second sub dial at the nine o'clock position, this hand has stop. That allows for precise time settings such as tuning an atomic clock online. You can set it down to the exact seconds. And then pressing the crown back in, we'll start that once more. And always make sure to screw the crown nice and tight in against the case as you wanna keep this watch water resistance as this is a diver's watch. Uh, you're looking at a water resistance of 30 bars. Moving on to the strap. Now the strap is just a simple black rubber strap. Not much else to say here. Just your typical rubber strap. The sort of innards are nicely diamond uh, diamond shaped for uh, more grippability. Outside, just a standard pattern. Buckle is just a simple tang buckle. Go ahead and show you the zoomed in version. Just a simple IWC on one side. See on the right side here. And as I mentioned, just a tang buckle. Simple, tried and tested. All right, so for the movement, we're looking at a 79320 movement. That's a 79320 caliber movement. It's an automatic self winding movement, uh, meaning that. Basically, when this watch sits on your wrist, it's just the general inertia of your wrist of just swinging your, your arms around of your everyday use. 
will keep the watch running. It has a power reserve of 44 hours if you decide to put it down, so you take that off your wrist, put it on your dresser. You can put the watch down from a Friday afternoon, uh, Friday evening, pick it back up on a Sunday afternoon, it'll be keeping time just fine. But if you decide to leave it longer, then you will have to wind the watch as I've shown you in the beginning. Um, but besides, but besides that, let me actually go ahead and show you this watch on my wrist. So go ahead and open it up. Actually, a little bit too much of a hassle to actually t buckle it in right now, as I don't want to take too much time here off the video. But there's the watch on the wrist. You can see very beautiful that gray dial, looking looking absolutely gorgeous. Nice usage of just the common tones of the dark navy blue, uh, starting from the t the tip of the triangle to the sub dials to even the sides of the chronograph pushes the two o'clock four o'clock position, and then using the mat sort of the matte black on the or rather matte gray on the your actual elapsed time for the 60 seconds to match with the general tone of the main dial just that sort of darkish darkish gray i would almost say rhodium styled colored but all and also that cool sort of feature at, at night when you can just see the sort of half tones of half tone of the uh the tealish hour hand and the greenish minute hand a very unique feature as i said this watch sits high on the wrist 17 uh, 17 millimeters thick so it won't fit under those suit cuffs dress cuffs very easily but you can see still you're not looking to sort of hide this watch uh if you are trying to wear it it is a ver it is a large watch as i mentioned before 44 millimeters and you really want people to notice that you are wearing this watch this is a very absolutely gorgeous watch why wouldn't you want to show this off why would you want to hide it under anything this is and this is very very this is one of my uh, one of the best aqua timers i've seen so if you're interested in this watch or any other watch for the lowest possible price, check out our website, jazztime.com. We have the lowest prices guaranteed. If you uh, if you're in, like our video, please like, comment, subscribe below. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys soon. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video. Click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount. So you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazz time, plus the brand, model, and the details you're interested in, and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.